Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Crawford Jones. After over 3,000 trips around the Earth and an extended stay on orbit, three space travelers are back home. On Thursday, NASA astronaut Terry Virts, cosmonaut Anton Skaplerov, and European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti departed the space station after 199 days on board. Their Soyuz spacecraft undocked from the station at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time for a touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan just under three and a half hours later. The crew members were extracted from the spacecraft by search and recovery teams and given a few moments to adjust to Earth's gravity before leaving the landing site for the last leg of their journey home. With her 199 days in space, Samantha Cristoforetti broke the record for longest space flight by a woman, previously held by NASA's Sunny Williams. The departure of Verts, Skaplerov, and Cristoforetti kicked off ISS Expedition 44. Before leaving, Verts handed over command of the orbital outpost to veteran cosmonaut Gennady Padalka, marking the beginning of his fourth stint as station commander and ISS record. Remaining with Padalka are his fellow cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko and NASA astronaut Scott Kelly, who are coming up on the three-month mark of their one-year mission. The trio will be joined by cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, Japanese astronaut Kamiya Yui, and NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren in late July to complete the six-man Expedition 44 crew. This week's Twitter question comes from Alexa who wants to know what the largest scientific device on the ISS is. Well, Alexa, that would be the AMS, or the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. The state-of-the-art particle physics detector was delivered to the station by Space Shuttle Endeavour in 2011 and has measured over 65 billion cosmic rays since on its quest to help us discover the origins of the universe. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.